Chaz Burks with Go Guitar Live, and uh, today I'm going to show you a hybrid, uh, hybrid picking, rockabilly, Danny Gatton esque um, little lick here, and I think you guys will really enjoy it. Um, this will be a little bit more advanced than usual, but uh, let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so if you want to do this, you're going to need a delay pedal or an echo pedal that will do short uh, little delays. Okay guys, so one of my videos, uh, I have two videos talking about hybrid picking. If you're not familiar with it, you need to be a little more um, advanced in uh, your playing to sort of play these licks because you're using fingers and you're using your pick. So I have a couple tutorials uh, that talk about just easy ones to get you started on there. Uh, it seems like people really enjoy them. So. Uh, but right now, this is for someone who does know how to hybrid pick and they're looking for something uh, a little bit harder. I guess you could kind of do it with a pick, but uh, I'm going to show you directly what I did with my fingers. So this is basically a blues, and I just kind of played it in E. So I just played like an E5 right here on the second fret. So I, sometimes I would hit the third and sometimes I would. And then uh, with a delay, so if I play, I'm going to try and do this at an angle so you can see this hand too. So. And this is palm muting over here, right here, right past the bridge. And here my delay's on. So you get the feel of the delay. So that's going to be kind of your feel, so you can play that. This is basically a blues. Uh, what I did uh, is a 12 bar blues. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to play uh, 14 on the D string. And then with your pick and hand, I want you just to palm mute that, just kind of down and up. And then these fingers are going to go um, 17 and then uh, on the B string, 16 on the G string. And I'm going to take my two middle fingers and I'm going to play the B string with my ring finger and then my middle finger, sorry, um, <laughs> it's going to play the G string. And they're just going to pull those in, okay? And then my thumb is going to play the D string. Now that little thing, which kind of sounds like uh, the Beavis and Butthead uh, intro. Pretty slick lick, actually. Um, this is the, uh, and if you've never heard the intro, you should go back and listen to it. Just a side note. Okay, so we have the, um, the D right here is uh, 14, 16, and 17. And then we're gonna take our middle finger, we're gonna play 15 on the B string. And that's where you're gonna lift off your little finger. And so you get those two notes. And then the third chord you're gonna play, and I'm gonna show you how to do the rhythm of it here in a second. But the third chord is basically when I'm just gonna bar down on the 14. So if you go, if you go uh, pick, pull with these fingers, pick, pull, pick, lift off that one now, now your second chord. And then do the same thing. See that? So you have three chords. Dun, dun, dun. So, so that'd be almost like an E and E7, um, and then uh, like an E6 of some sort. More of an A, I guess. And uh, if you've listened to Danny Gatton, he this is one of the licks that he does quite a bit. It's kind of a cool little thing, so we're going to go down up on the D string, our root note. And then we're going to pull that for our first chord, so this is our E, our E7, and this is our A, so. So you hear our CI lifted off right there. And you're always going back to that root. So root, double on the root and then one single, and then you're going to hammer on back to that from the E7 to the E. See that? And then back off. Down to your A. Now I kind of probably uh, changed it up quite a bit, but you can get the feel for that as long as you get... Now I'm kind of lifting off this one too as well, so... Now I want you to kind of make up your own. You don't have to play exactly what I'm doing. Now you can do that. It's just sort of the Danny Gatton thing, the triplet. OK, 
Okay, so we have those that shape. It's a really fun shape to kind of play around with. Uh, most uh, blues and uh, uh, rock players don't really mess around with that too much. So a bunch of variations, but you really want to be more familiar with how to play with your right hand. This is easy. This is the easy part. You're just lifting off fingers here. But using your hand, it was two different parts, you know, da 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 and then... So two bass notes. So did you see that? Two bass notes, chord, and then a bass note, and then the chord, the hammer on from middle finger to your pinky. And back off. Now we're gonna go bass note again, the chord, bass, and then pull your uh, A chord there. So. There you go, so you play around with the bass note. So 12 bar blues in the key of E. Let's go to our A chord. So we can go. Did you see that? So I'm gonna bar, play this exact same thing, but it's on the 12th fret. 14, 12, 14. Bass chord. So if you can just play around and get the rhythm of that. You can fast or rewind it and, um, and see what I did there. Go back up to E. Play a little variation of that. Uh, Whatever you want to do. Um, so you got your place for to play the E, your A, or you can do that with E too. Uh, just go down to nine and seven. Now when you get to the B, the turnaround of the, of the song, and if you're not familiar with these terms, turnaround, I suggest there's tons of a, a, a tutorials online to find that out, um, what, how to play in a blues, and maybe I should do that for a future lesson. Um, just the basic understanding of what a blues is and, and uh, the structure of it. But we're going to play the same shape we did up here for the E. Down here for the B. And the B is going to be on 9, uh, your first finger. So same shape. You just move it down. And then your little finger's on 12. So that kind of stretches everything out. Same thing. Done. Now the turnarounds are pretty quick. Now we're gonna go down to A. So that's just one whole step behind or two frets. So now your first finger's touching seven. And everything else goes down two frets too, of course. So I'm keeping that hand same place. So, so, so far. Let's do it four times. We're gonna do that back to the A part. Now let's go down to E and play the same thing, but we're gonna do the same thing we just did here with A. And then for a bass, we just use the uh, the open E. And then for our B, our turnaround, we come up here and we're gonna do the same shape we did at the beginning. Down to A here. And then you can just kind of write it out. So I uh, hope that was useful. I know that this might be a little bit tricky for some guys, um, but keep it up and keep working with both hands. I think that's a, uh, a huge uh, improvement for a lot of people is when they can play uh, sort of chicken pick or uh, you know hybrid pick or whatever you want to call it. So, um, all right, well, again, we'll just uh, see you next time.